previously on Survivor, Moonshine Edition. So the survival project has been going on for about a month now. Oh, it's been a long time, it's so cold. I got my shelter up and then the wind came and the time robbers, they pulled the stud out. And then I had to do all this extra stuff that I didn't get paid for to try to get it the, apart. It's so difficult. You just take for granted things like the right tools and environments where that are conducive to doing this kind of work. And it's raining again. I think all my traps. I think there's a bear. I heard it like outside, outside my, I heard it go, oh, oh. and I, I, I went to use the pepper spray and shot my face with it because I, it's dark, you know, and it's hard with this camera equipment everywhere, it's, it, you know, I don't, it's a lot of money, but I don't know if it's worth all this. Anyway, I have to figure out now how to start over, I have to make a new one without a fire. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. <coughs> Hi. So we decided that we're tired of answering questions on YouTube. So we're just gonna go through a 128 build, kind of a basic one without heads, but still a 128. We're gonna use a big fueling cam, good exhaust, upgraded cam plate, the whole nine yards like we always do. We're gonna go step by step with all the specifications and teach you at home how to build huge MA power. And I'm also going to give, tell you everything I know about Dyna to new motorcycles. Okay, well I'm going to start prepping the bike a little bit before we get started and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. We're going to find out what these are for. So now we got a couple of things out of the way. We got the uh, air cleaner off, the exhaust off, tank smooth. So one of the first things that I want to go over when you're doing disassembly is this. Some important things about the uh, rocker shafts you should know when you're taking them off. First of all, there's an old and a new factory rocker shaft, and you can tell by that. This is a bolt right here, and here's more gaskets. This gasket. As an <laughs> so real quick with the heads. We're going to talk about piston pin clips for a minute. The really important thing about piston clips Now these cuffs and these screws are <laughs> It's a cam. The black and white American flag. Real fire. It's so cold. My hands are freezing. You know, all we had to do is make a fire and catch food. So easy a caveman could do it. Keep hearing things. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh. Alright, so we're gonna install all of our high performance goodies. The camp chest here. But first, we're gonna measure the run out of the flywheel because. You know, why would you not measure the runout of a flywheel if you're here? Anytime we take an engine apart for whatever reason, 
if we open up this case at Moonshine on a twin cam or a M8 or an Evo or anything, we go ahead and we measure the run out of the pinion shaft because if I have to tell you, then you're not going to understand anyway. That's why. And then there's these. This came out. That goes in. I'm going to show you how we put that in right here. And then by doing that, you ensure that it's put in the right depth. So that's pretty easy. What we're doing here, when we take the top end off, I always check the torque on the studs. And if they come loose, we just replace them. Because they have this lock. So I think that should cover that. Next thing we're gonna do is talk about the cylinders and pistons right over here. So we're using SNS cylinders. And they're piston set up for this one 28. Beautiful. Just beautiful. You may not know this, but my other job is on a hand model. So now what I'm gonna do is I've gone through the initial clean. Now I'm going to just keep spraying them down and wiping them out until this comes out completely clean. And then I'm going to cut the, measure the rings, and we'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so now we've, we have uh, got the cylinders and the pistons and rings prepped, everything's ready to go. So now we're going to install them on, we're going to clean the bases up one more time, install the pistons and then put the cylinders on. And we changed to the, uh, the fueling beehive springs with the Jim's spring tool. So it's pretty cool. All right, just had to take a little break, do some push-ups because fitness is key. All right, I'm going to go over installing the exhaust. I feel like I've been here for a long time. Need to go to the barber. So I just got to adjust the camera and then we'll install the exhaust. Hi, everybody. So now we're in the dyno on the next step of the evolution of the 128 total explanation video that talks about everything that has to do with everything about the engine of the everything bike on the 128 everything. Right now I'm loading the latest program into the machine. As you can see from the cameras, they don't trust me so there's cameras on everything that I do. And I just have to say that I love the slap chop. It's one of my favorite deals and I feel like a helicopter pilot right now. Except I'm not in a helicopter or a pilot. So it's kind of nothing like that. But here we go. None of that really matters once you hit this button. So the first thing we're going to do is let it warm up to operating temperature. Hey, you're going to need some air protection. You want to get some air? Do you want to get some air protection before I do this pull? It's going to be fucking loud. All right. Now I've got my high-tech control box over here. And this yellow blinking button annoys me, so I like to push that so it doesn't annoy me anymore. And I've always been told that green means go. So here we go. Ah! The physical exertion it takes to hold on at these speeds is mind numbing. And let me tell you something else. This is not for the faint of heart. Wow. Wow, simply amazing, amazing, the rush at going this fast. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. Wow. Wow, it's so realistic, just like riding down the highway. Here's what we just did. Huh? What's up? 
Thanks, man. I got it for Christmas. I have two more just like it. I figure we can all just wear them and be super legit. Oh, yeah, I can't hear you right now. I've got headphones on.